So here we are, man. It's uh, Friday, February 10th, right? Hanging out with Peter and uh, got a few guitars in that I'm excited about. And one is a 1958 Gibson LG2. So this came from uh, a gentleman from Wenatchee, Washington, and his uh, mother-in-law passed away 10 years ago and left this to him and it's been under his bed for 10 years he's not a guitar player and according to him she had owned it for about 30 years um, beautiful beautiful condition if you look really close on these tuning gears so these buttons are made out of a material uh, called bakelite and over the years they shrink up and they get very brittle and they'll crumble and actually just fall right off. You can see how those two, <clears throat> the tuners have pretty much disintegrated and gone away. But just a great, look at the mahogany on that, no cracks, really nice sunburst spruce top, beautiful little guitar we're excited about. The other one that I'm just extremely excited about is a super rare 1930 Martin OM18. So if you look at this guitar straight on, it's kind of unusual, like, where are the tuning gears? How am I gonna tune this thing? <laughs> well, this has the old style banjo tuners, which they used in the early days. Really, really neat looking tuning gears. So again, this is mahogany, sides and back, spruce top. And that's possibly an Adirondack spruce on this guy which is a really high quality spruce that they used back in the early days of Martin. Um, so this guitar, although it, it's not as sparkly clean as this 58, you gotta figure this is what, 28 years older. It's got just, you know, a couple little cracks here which are totally repairable. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's, man, this guitar is 81 years old. Come on, 82, it's 2012. And super, super rare guitar. This guitar, I don't know, fifteen or twenty thousand dollar guitar. Can you believe it? Oh, a piece of wood like that. This is an early '70s Gibson Les Paul recorder bass. Sounded great hitting that little LG too. Didn't you hear the tone? Um, this is Les Paul's aberration, man. Of the low impedance pickups and little switches here and. Um, he also made a, a six-string electric guitar, Les Paul recording guitar as well, that's very similar to this. Pretty rare pieces, and, and uh, people really go for these. It's really neat to see one of these come in as well. So there you go, three of the latest acquisitions that just came in today. Just another day in the life of Emerald City Guitars, my friends. Okay, so, so in this case is a 1963 Hummingbird. Oh my God! Actually, Grant's holding the 1963 Gibson Hummingbird in the other room, and it's his 16th birthday, and him and his dad, Garrett, have come down to Emerald City Guitars to pick up his gift and to celebrate with the, the staff. They're like family and, and just great guys. We love them, so uh, we wanted to share that with him. That's kind of the hoopla going on tonight. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grant. Take that, we'll get some uh, paper plates and pour from upstairs, okay? Uh, it's kind of get through the whole thing, you know, everybody's... Dude, I like the haircut, dude. Thanks. Oh, really? You just cut it? It was like... <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. It's good stuff. Yeah. Well, it always grows back, man. It does. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't really have a band this much like writing. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been like super dedicated to writing them, mostly like coming up with stuff, yeah. and then I build a repertoire of kind of, of songs, but I, I need, yeah. now I'm gonna get, gotta get my shit together. Yeah. Did you actually like put stuff together. You did write a few things in the fall, are pretty good. I did, yeah. But I just need to get my vocals still like confident. Oh, yeah. yeah. More. Yeah, yeah, man. I have to like have almost like a quieter guitar because my voice just doesn't, it's like wants to hide behind it, you know what I mean? So, but dude, whatever, it'll, one day, yeah, it's gonna just jump out. 
Uh, so, Garrett. Um, Happy birthday. Yeah, wait. Oh, we got to do that. So that's a 1963 Hummingbird. You get to borrow it all weekend. Yeah, it's got a B band pickup in it. And as you put right, right here, there's a couple of rollers. We'll plug you in, you get to try it all out. The B band has a transducer and an internal one, so you can blend oh, the two. So it has a giant volume. Just that's so freaking cool. That's so cool. We recorded with that in orbit like really? a couple weeks ago. Nice. And the way it tracked down. Yeah, one of these, I've been wanting a hummingbird. So good. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Now you gotta make it sing. Yeah. Awesome. Everyone yeah. in this shop is jealous. <laughs> so yeah, that is the dream guitar. Dude, there's look some, how freaking some, cool that There's some songs in that guitar. All the checking and stuff. Oh, I have an idea for yeah. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Ken Carlson? Dude, seriously, he needs to just come and hang out, man. It's pretty. pretty yeah. Cool. I'm pretty damn <laughs> excited. Well, yeah, I play with. Macklemore sometimes, and they, um, they don't really have very many amps. On. They don't yeah. have any amps on stage. Yeah. Except me and the violin players. So. Yeah. Again, it's just um, two 12 inch speakers. Yeah, they're so heavy. That's the deal. Like, solid states can be way, way lighter. Um, it's a like both. Like this is a smaller, like 112, which means it has a 112 inch speaker. Um, and the head in this is great. It has like a couple channels and built-in effects, but uh, it's definitely both combined. Um, so, so this is a solid state amp. Yeah, yeah, that's solid state. And, and generally, for acoustic instruments, you'd want to use like a solid state amp. Check this guy out. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty cool.
So there's electric guitar, capoed up doing that, and then Rick recorded the acoustic guitar just in a, a different a standard. Kind of thing. So basically, go from there. So we came in after we recorded and played every guitar. Really? I don't know which one I was. It's going to be a Gibson, man. So I said, Hummingbird. Play the Hummingbird. So we pulled that one down. Oh, this sounds good. Pull that 62. Like, oh. Cool. That's awesome. See ya. Oh, yeah. Fill this kid jam. Take the coat off of that one. <laughs> the shirt. 20 bucks. The pants. What are, what are you kidding? <laughs> It'll start tucking you it in. Keep coming for this. <laughs> See you, blue boy. I'm going to head home. All right. Yeah, thanks. Love you, buddy. So much. Love you too. Happy birthday, man. Congrats. Well, thank, thank you, you for putting uh, <laughs> me up with you guys. Uh, Take care. Happy yeah, yeah. birthday. Yeah. yeah. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor Moon. <laughs> Earlier we were like spitting fire at each other, but we all work it out. All the time. We all work it out. And we have the uh, the cake. My the cake right here for Grant's 16th birthday. And so yeah, it's just a great day down here, uh, celebrating his birthday. And that's how we do it down here. Friends, family, customers are all kind of lead into the same kind of thing, man. So it's been really cool.